Everyone has the same 24 hours, yet it seems like there's a certain group of people that can just accomplish more in a single day than what you have. I can promise you this. They are not special. They have just learned habits that save them time to allow them to do or accomplish more in those 24 hours. So today, I'm gonna give you six simple one minute tips, that's all it takes to implement, that you can do today to start increasing your productivity and get more done in a single day. One, I call it the two minute rule. Any task that takes you less than two minutes to complete, just get it over with and get it done now. Because these small tasks trigger your brain's reward system to start rewarding you with dopamine every time you check off something off of your to-do list. This can be as simple as making your bed, doing your skincare, taking that multivitamin, or sending that email. Two, I want you to visualize the day. This means that for 60 seconds, you will pull out your phone and your notes app, and then you will do a task list to visualize what you want to complete for today. Now, the problem with to-do lists is that most don't know how to structure them correctly, so you'll want to follow these two rules. One, you want to front load the hard work first. This is called eating the frog. This means that your hardest task your most valuable one should be done first in the day, especially when you don't want to do it. Hence the term, eat the frog. Once you do that, the rest of your day becomes simple. Then the second rule you wanna do is that you wanna bolden the top three most important to-do tasks. This is gonna give you focus so you understand where you need to focus on all your energy for the day so you're not sidetracking with side missions. If you complete those first three that are the important ones for the day, then yeah, you can move on to the smaller things in your to-do list. Number three, I want you to use a timer. To be more productive, I want you to pull out the timer on your phone and implement something called the Pomodoro Technique. This is setting a 25 minute on and five minute off rule to optimize your productivity. You will set the timer for 25 minutes and for those 25 minutes you will be extremely productive you will not get sidetracked you won't answer any notifications you will just do the task at hand after those 25 minutes are off you can reset the timer for a five minute break where you can do whatever you want you can relax you can let your brain cool down you can go on social media those five minutes are downtime it is surprising but you can get more done the more rests you schedule throughout your day studies have shown that your mind will tune out after a certain amount of time under stress and then also decrease cognitive output so if you want to increase cognitive capacity add those breaks in there we're halfway through and what we're doing here is something called habit stacking while all these little tips are simple and take less than one minute to implement these next three i have for you you've probably never heard of four i want you to remove all distractions the reason tasks take you hours is because of the countless distractions that are sidetracking you once you get distracted by something you can end up wasting seconds minutes or hours so the top three distractions i always like to neutralize and remove our first, windows. My attention is short and I will stare out at anything and everything. So I try to remove any sort of visual stimuli when I'm truly trying to focus. Number two is my phone. I actually put it in another room when I'm trying to focus because if I see it light up, I will pick it up. Even if you're answering a work text or email, once that phone is in your hand, the odds of you hopping onto another app or social media, etc., because you just want to check real quick are high, which could end up wasting you or costing you hours. And finally, number three, I try to neutralize all noises. I like to put on some white noise to help muffle out any distracting noises that can kind of disrupt your workflow and studies have also proven can help with cognitive output and creativity. Number five, you can jump tasks. When you're stuck in a problem and, and something's very difficult, you start to overthink and wander and then procrastinate because you don't want to deal with the difficult situation. Remember, your mind only has a certain amount of capacity per day. If you're straining it, cognitive output starts going down. So jump from that problem to a different task. This way you can keep the flow state high and stimulate the brain with a new problem that is on your to-do list, preferably on those top three that you bolded earlier in this video. This is a good way to remain productive without slacking off, which ultimately takes us to number six. You should wake up exactly when you say you're going to wake up. This takes half a second to do, yet most of you are spending 30 minutes to an hour in your bed debating if you should get up now. That extra hour you're spending in bed per year, that's an extra 365 hours a year that you can use to build something. Now, as you develop the skill and the willpower to be able to get up exactly when you say you're going to get up, you can then further that and start telling yourself, you know what, I'm going to get up an hour earlier every day. Now, compound that out to a year. You were spending an hour in bed debating, and now you're also 
getting up an hour earlier, that's an extra two hours a day you did not have previously. That's 730 hours extra a year. That's a whole 30 days extra that you can use to be productive.